Day three, let's get it, bro. Day three, let's get it. What's up, everyone? Mm. This is my just woke up from a nap face. Ugh. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm alive. Happy to be here. If you guys haven't been watching the content this week, you don't know, but uh, I'll fill you in. We're doing a Learn About America week. Yup. Nice little Pistons cup. Get out of my face. All right. Um, we're on day three. We are, hold on. Laptop view. We are almost to, why can't I pull up the thing? What the hell? And then do the other thing where I do this thing. But then also do this thing. There we go. All right. Um, okay, so I missed some states. <laughs> I was making a list. I missed some states. As I was doing this already, like I, I jumped right over Missouri. Didn't do Missouri. I jumped right over. I was looking at the states before I started today. I've been up for a couple minutes. Um, I jumped over Iowa. I don't think I did Iowa, although, like, what's there to do in Iowa, honestly? Like, what are we doing? Idaho. I missed Idaho. I missed hella states so far, guys. Look at Alabama's flag. Like, what's the point of that? Honestly. Okay, so we might double back. I feel like we were doing making good ground, but now, like, I have so many that I have to jump dub, double back for. I, do we care about Idaho or Iowa? I don't really care about either of those ones. We're going to skip right past them, I think. Um, And then... Okay, so we're at, like, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, in this neck of the woods. We got some good ones here. Montana... Bro, how much more do we have, bro? Oh, my God. Look at all these states, dude. I mean, I already did the Carolinas and the Dakotas, so. And that's the end. Bro, look how dope our flag looks, bro. Come on. Okay, anyways. All right, so that's the plan. That's what we're doing today. Let's find the, let's find the YouTube. Let's get off of this thing. And let's get onto this thing. <clears throat> Bro, at the end of the hour and 40 minutes yesterday, my head hurt so bad. I don't even have – I had a headache the rest of the day trying to learn. I'm so terrible at learning, bro, honestly. It's, it's not – I'm not good at it. The state of – but we're going to do it because I don't know. This is better. Michigan. Let's go. Michigan, you're up. My job is to make college easier because students have a lot on their Oh wow, buckle. First thing we want to find out is where Michigan because you might want to two visit. pieces. If you want to visit, you got to know where it is. Michigan's like two so pieces of where land. Where is the state of Michigan? Do you know? <laughs> yep. Michigan is up here. Yeah, the state of Michigan is right here on like, the United just let, States. Map. What is that, Wisconsin? Michigan just let Wisconsin have that other piece of, of land. What are we doing? States called the you know? Midwest. Isn't that interesting? Okay, now that we know where Michigan is, let's go ahead and look at two nicknames of the state of Michigan to learn even more about this incredible place. The two main nicknames of Michigan are the Great Lakes State That's and cool. the Mitten State. That's Better right, the Great Mittens. Lakes State Let's go. And the Mitten State. Are they going to talk about the Detroit Pistons in here? I hope they do. Okay, so why is Michigan called the Great Lakes State? Hmm, that's an interesting Duh. name. We are actually going to use the Michigan State Quarter to show you why Michigan is the Great Lakes State. And you'll notice on this quarter it says Great Lakes State. Okay, so you know it's official if it's on the quarter. So here is the state of Michigan on this little picture on the state quarter. The state of Michigan actually has two parts. The Upper Peninsula 
and the Lower Peninsula. Okay. Michigan is the only state that's comprised of two peninsulas. Hmm. A peninsula is a piece of land that's almost surrounded by... Just give me the info, bro. I know what a peninsula but is, what is dude. super cool about Michigan is it's bordered by four of the five great lakes. That's that true. Four of the five great lakes. It's all surrounded by water. That's cool. Up here is Lake Superior. And then down here is Lake Michigan. Yep. Then over here, bordering Michigan to the east, is Lake Huron. And down here is Lake Erie. What's that other lake? So, Michigan is called the Great Lakes State because it's bordered by four of the Great Lakes. Okay, that makes sense. But why is Michigan called the Mitten State? It's a good question. Why is Michigan called the Mitten State? Is it because everyone wears mittens? Actually, Michigan it's is the called shape. the Mitten State because the Lower Peninsula looks like a mitten. Yeah, it doesn't it look like a mitten? It's kind of got a Godzilla vibe, if I'm being honest. Like, it day. should be the Godzilla State, dude. Honestly. We hope you've had a lot of fun so far. Now we're going to look at the flag of the Mitten State, the Great Lakes State, okay. Michigan. Hit me. Hit me. Ta-da! Here is the flag of the I state like it, bro. That's cool. It's a blue flag with the state coat of arms in the middle. Is that a Sam Squatch on their flag? The arms, Wait a minute. The Does their flag have a Sam Squatch on it, dude? By a lake, which makes sense because this is Michigan. The shield in the center is held up by an elk and a moose. It's nice to see the animals working together. And they depict the great animals of Michigan. Uh -huh. The bald eagle above them represents the United States because the bald eagle is the official bird of the United States and a powerful symbol of our country. True. Then there are three Latin phrases on the coat of arms. The top one means out of many one, and the one on the blue shield means I will defend. And on the bottom, it means if you seek a pleasant peninsula, look about you, which is also the official state motto. Because guess what? Michigan is made up of two peninsulas, okay? Two peninsulas, an upper peninsula and a lower one, okay? Super cool. And a super yeah, cool flag. it is super cool, bro. You going to talk about the Pistons or what's going on here? Wonderful. Now we are going to locate two special places in the state Detroit. of Michigan. The first place is the city of Lansing. God Lansing is the capital of Michigan. I knew that. I actually knew that. But the other one's then Detroit, right? Then south and to the east is the city of Detroit. There you go. Detroit Ooh. is the largest city in Michigan. You can see it pictured here. Hell yeah, that's dope. Wait, what the hell is that? The city of Detroit is actually on the United States-Canada border. Interesting. It happens to be the largest city on the United States-Canada border. The city of Detroit is also a major port. Doesn't it look beautiful? It's, it's not only the largest dope. city on the United States-Canada border, it's the second largest city in the Midwest behind Chicago. All right, here is our final question. What is the state bird of Michigan? I have no idea. Cardinal? The state bird of Michigan <laughs> is the American robin. Yeah, oh, the dope. American robin. That's cool. These cute songbirds are some of the most abundant what? of all the birds in North America. Don't worry, I'm getting good at streamlining this process. To feed in groups. That way they could Minnesota, bro. Where's Minnesota, bro? To see if there are any predators and if there's a reaction that one of the American robins. There we go. Minnesota for kids, bro. Let's get it. I'm Dr. Jeff Vinegar, and today you're not a doctor. There's no chance you're a doctor, sir. There's literally no chance you're a doctor. Oh, well. Minnesota on the United States. Uh-huh. Of the Midwest region. Cool. Now we know where Minnesota is. Minnesota is in the Midwest region 
of <clears throat> the United States. But let's learn some other facts. All right. The Great Lakes State or whatever. Like this. What are Minnesota's nicknames? The you know, land, you can of learn a thousand, a lot land of 10,000 lakes by looking at some of the other is one of the nicknames. That state goes by. What are Minnesota's nicknames? The land of 10,000 lakes. We are going to be looking at two common nicknames for the state of Minnesota. The first is the North Star State. I the second is the land of 10,000 lakes. I did a, so a report on Minnesota when I was in elementary school. In That's my state, bro. I fuck Minnesota with Minnesota hard. Hard. Minnesota's a dope state. North Star State's pretty sick, too, honestly. But First, why is Minnesota called the North Star State? Well, the state motto of Minnesota is actually L'Etoile du Nord, which is French for Star of the North. What? Don't they have Mall of America? The they do, right? The largest mall in the world is in Minnesota, many I thought. People living in Minnesota. Pretty sure. There are still people in Minnesota that speak French today. All right. Here is a drawing of the North Star in relation to the Earth. The North Star is also called Polaris, or the Pole Star. It's incredible. The North Star lines up almost perfectly with the Earth's rotation above the North Pole. So when you see the North Star, you know that that direction is north. All right. Cool. So Minnesota is nicknamed the North Star State because of its state motto, L'Etoile du Nord, the Star of the North. That's cool, but why is Minnesota called the Land of 10,000 Lakes? Well, we'll let you guess. Why do you think that Minnesota is called the Land of 10,000 Lakes? Probably because it has 10,000 lakes, dude. Yeah, there are tons of lakes in Minnesota. In fact, there are over 20,000 lakes in Minnesota. 21,871 lakes are in Minnesota Jesus. that are over two and a half acres in size. So there's actually way more than 20,000 lakes. The largest lake is Lake Superior, which is considered the largest freshwater lake in the world by surface area. Hmm. That's cool. Lake Superior is not just in Minnesota. It's also shared by Canada, Wisconsin, and even part of Michigan. To Yo, review, could you get Minnesota to Canada over that lake? North you could, Star right? You could just like boat over there. It's also called the Land of 10,000 Lakes. That's dope. All right, now we're going to look at the flag of the state of Minnesota. It's a dope flag. They got a good flag. Listen, flag I like a good flag. They got a good flag, dude. Minnesota. That flag's got everything. Minnesota's Damn, that's a fancy one. Minnesota's flag is a blue flag that has the state seal in the middle. <clears throat> there is a lot going on in the state seal. A Native American is riding on horseback in the background. There's also a farmer with a plow, and there's a stump, and there are these tools, and then there are these trees, and a field, and a river, and a waterfall. So many things on this state seal. Hmm. And, of course, above this whole scene is a banner that says, L'Etoile du Nord, the North Star, because Minnesota is the North Star State. Yeah, you already said that like nine times, bro. Now we are going to look at where a couple of places Let's are. Let's see, St. Paul, Minnesota. Minneapolis. The first place we're going to look at I is the city of St. Paul. Yeah. St. Paul is the capital of Minnesota. I know this from my book report in the sixth grade then on Minnesota. Right I got an A plus. Saint just Paul saying. To the west is Minneapolis. <laughs> Minneapolis is the largest. And they call city them the Twin Cities, Minnesota. which is why the Minnesota Twins baseball team is called the Twins. Because of how close they are together, these cities are nicknamed the Twin Cities. You know what I mean? Sixth, right sixth grade, them. I came out with a book report. So I, I wowed them with this book report. It was cities. dope. I know Minnesota. Minnesota actually, okay, I know, I know Minnesota located. Okay, now we're going to look at our final fact. What is the state bird of Minnesota? I don't know this, though. Ooh, what is the state bird? I'm sure it was in my book report, but Minnesota. I don't remember. 
the state bird of Minnesota. The, was it goose? The common loon. The common the loon. loon. <laughs> that word loon means Diver. That's funny. That's a shit bird, bro. They got a crap bird. They, they got a good flag, though. Because they dive deep underwater where they find the food that they want to eat. Then they usually swallow <clears> it <throat> while they're still underwater and then return to surface. Sometimes they'll bring their food to the surface, but a lot of times they right. just eat Minnesota, it underwater. Missouri, Min the Missouri you're up. Is a great I always diver. ended at the, at the bird because there's not a lot after that other than, like, you know. There we go. Guys, welcome. If you're just joining, I'm going through the states of America and learning random knowledge off of children's videos. Yep, that's what we're doing. It's been that kind of a week. I haven't felt like playing video games this week, so I've been doing this instead. We're on day three. I'm already a little bit bored of it, to be honest with you, so I totally understand if you guys are. But if you do stop by, if you watch this content later, I'd appreciate a like if you enjoy yourself. And we have to warn you. So where is Missouri? Right here. No, right here? This one, yeah, right? Missouri is right here. It's almost yeah, come on. in the middle of the <clears throat> continental United States. Missouri is part of a region of the United States called the Midwest. Called the flyover states that nobody cares and about. And as we said, Missouri has a lot of friends, a lot of neighbors, a lot of states around it. Here are the states Good Lord, that that's border a lot of states. Missouri. You know, it really is like a state sandwich, and Missouri is in the middle, and it tastes good. Actually, I've, I've never, I've never tasted uh, Missouri before. I don't think anyone eats a U.S. state. Anyway, a lot of states around. It's like a state sandwich. Right above Missouri is Iowa. Then to the top right of Are we going to name them all? Illinois. Are you serious? Come on, bro. Like, tell me about Missouri, dude. Then directly I get it. There's a lot of states, Oklahoma. bro. You already showed us the states. Up left is Let's Nebraska. get through this. Come Lots on. Of states surrounding it. What's the nickname of Missouri? Does anybody know the nickname right, of Missouri? I don't know. This question. Of Missouri. Does Missouri have any nicknames? Are there any other names that the state of Missouri is known by? Hey, Super. What's up, bud? Well, Missouri really has two main nicknames. The Show Me State That's and dope. the Cave State. I don't like the cave state. The show me state is pretty dope. That's actually a cool Missouri nickname. Called the show me state. What? Many people trace it back to this man, Representative Willard Duncan Van that Diver. Good head of hair. Bro, whatever in he has speech, is in a great mustache. Willard I like this dude. Duncan Van Diver said at the end that I am from Missouri. You have to show me. In other words, I'm not going to just believe you based on what you said. Represent. I proof or That's I'm a hype. a bit skeptical. You're going to have to show me that what you're saying is true. That's hype. I can respect that. That's dope. I actually it really like that a lot. That, that might be my new favorite. Actually, The Last Frontier is still pretty Willard dope. Willard Duncan Van Diver used it, but he's the one that popularized it. He's the one that really made it famous. The Show Me State. That's a dope nickname As for the a state, state, dude. Missouri really embraced this. In fact, it's on their license plates. That's cool. As we said earlier, Missouri is also called the Cave State. You know, Which is stupid. Whoever's pushing for that nickname can just shut up because that's a stupid Missouri. nickname. The other one's way better, over 6, obviously. Thousand caves in Missouri. Missouri truly is the Cave State. I swear they Missouri make up some of these nicknames Missouri just so they can talk about nicknames. certain things that are popular state and or and really state. prevalent on the state. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's making up that second nickname. How are we doing? We're doing okay? Having a good time learning? All right, we're going to learn even more fascinating facts about Missouri. All Here right. is the flag of Missouri Hit and me. the seal of oh, Missouri. Oh, that's dope. It's got bears on it? Come on. That guy's got double... It's Dude, Senate Missouri's got a dope nickname design. and a flag with double a bears. Are you kidding me? Motto, I'm going to move to Missouri. Stand, <laughs> That's it. I'm moving to Missouri. Two They're too awesome. Holding up the shield. The bears representing strength and bravery. <sighs> The also, they're representing being badass, dude. To France, who used to own the land of Missouri. Wait, Missouri's French? I'm, I'm out. I'm not moving there now. The Unpack the truck. We're not moving the there. The land of Missouri and the land of many other states from France in something called the Louisiana Purchase. All right. All right. Now we're going to look at some special places in Missouri. 
All right. Right here near the center of the state is the capital, Jefferson City. Jefferson City is the capital of Missouri. Okay. I would have never known that. Is Kansas City. Oh, Kansas, Kansas City is the Chiefs? Oh, I definitely don't like Missouri. No, nah, I'm out. I'm out. Those Mahones can suck a dick. That family's then toxic. Then to the east on the other I'm side out. of the state is St. Louis. Ooh, St. Louis is dope. That's is Nelly, though, port. and all that. Damn, I'm conflicted. Because Missouri seems pretty but dope. The but then they've got a couple things I don't like. Is this the symbol oh, for many people of St. Louis. They got the archway. The gateway arch. Oh, that's a cool landmark. The Fuck, the landmark is really is good, too. That symbolizes the Shit, I think I low-key like Missouri. The States into the West. The Show Me State Saint nickname Louis is dope. Was called the, gateway the flag the is sick with the bears. When settlers went out west, usually St. Louis was their starting place. The Gateway Arch is the tallest arch in the world and the tallest man-made monument in the Western Hemisphere. That's sick. All right, as we're wrapping up, let's do this last question. What is the state bird of Missouri? What's the state bird of Missouri? The state bird is the eastern bluebird. The eastern bluebird Dope looking is bird, the bro. state bird Dude, Missouri's Missouri. sick. They got a sick bird. They got all kinds. Bro, I think I might be eastern a fan of Missouri, although the Chiefs can suck a dick. I'm not a fan of that team at all. But and farmlands and orchards, and they love insects. Insects are oh, their on. favorite food. They love eating insects. They'll eat berries and other things. But they love insects, all right? That's their favorite. Menu. Shut up, dude. All right, we're on to Montana. If you can tell, as you can tell, I'm getting really good at speed running these uh, little videos. I'm cutting the ends off, the beginning off. I know exactly where to click over before he starts getting dumb, like right about here, 30 seconds. Maybe more for Montana. Different places that border the state of Montana. Montana is bordered by one country and. Four states. Bordering Montana to the north is the country of Canada. Yeah, Montana shares its northern border with Canada. Then, bordering Montana to the east are the states of North Dakota, South Dakota. and South Dakota. Then, bordering Montana directly to the south is the state of Wyoming. And finally, bordering Montana to the south and to the west is the state of Idaho. Which is where my parents live. Do you remember where Montana is on the Which United States I didn't States do, map? now that I think about it. Uh-huh. Montana is way up here in a region of the United States called the Mountain Region. Is that... A region? I don't know if that's a region. Okay, now we're going to look at the two main nicknames of Montana what? to learn even more about this cool state. Big Sky State? Is that Big Sky? The two main nicknames of the state of Montana are Big Sky Country. Big Sky Country. Something with Big Sky. I knew it. See? State. I'm so fucking smart. Some of these things I already know, dude. Nicknames in detail to find the out Treasure State. Why I don't they are I didn't nicknames know that. of the state of Montana. The big first sky nickname, country. Big Sky Country, comes from the fact that the sky looks so big in Montana because nothing seems to block the sky. The sky True. looks massive. When you look over the landscape, you're just like, wow, the sky looks so huge because there are no big buildings blocking it. It's just a massive sky, and you can drive miles and miles and miles just seeing this amazing sky with nothing blocking it. Even when there are mountains in the distance, remember that Montana is in the mountain region of the United States. The sky still seems so huge, which is why Montana got the nickname Big Sky Country. Now, you might remember Montana also has the nickname the Treasure State. That's because Montana is so rich in incredible minerals and metals like gold and silver. In fact, the state motto is Oro y Plata, which is Spanish for gold Pass and silver. What? OK. 
Okay. So Montana has the nicknames Big Sky Country Which is and Spanish the for kill the white man. Uh, now what? let's take Nothing. a few moments to look at the flag of the state of Montana. Hit me. Give me a good flag here. Ta-da! Here is That's the flag not bad. of the state of Montana. I like a Big flag that has the name country, on it. I will say that. That's kind of cool. State. Gold and silver. The flag of Montana That's what the Oro is a Plata. blue flag with the state seal in the middle, and above the state seal is the word Montana in gold letters. That's cool. The state seal shows a pick, a shovel, and a plow in a field that's in front of the Great Falls of the Missouri River with mountains in the background. The state motto, Oro y Plata, which is Spanish for gold and silver, is at the bottom of the state seal. After all, Montana is thirty-five thousand views. Like nobody gives a shit about Montana. Nobody's even watching this video. <laughs> awesome. Now we're going to look at two major cities in the state of Montana. I don't know a single the city first in city Montana. Is the city of Helena? Helena is the capital of Montana and is in the western part of the state. That's crazy. Then, in the south central part of the state, is the city of Billings. Billings is the largest city in Montana. All right. All right. Here is our final question. What is the state bird of Montana? Hmm. What is the state bird of Montana? The state bird of Montana is the western meadowlark. That's Again? Right. The western meadowlark. Meadow bro, how many meadowlarks? The western meadowlark is a cute, medium-sized bird that almost looks like it's wearing a bib. Literally, how many meadowlarks have we had? So many meadowlarks. Western meadowlarks love the wide-open spaces of Montana, and they love eating insects. Nebraska is next, I think. This video on the state of Montana. Did I already watch Nebraska? I did, right? Cornhuskers. We've already watched it. So I'm, I went out of order, guys, and I apologize. But there's, that's where we're at. Now we're on uh, Nevada, New York. I don't know. Did we do Nevada? Let's do Nevada. New Jersey, New York, New Hampshire. That guy's mic is not in good shape. Oh, wow. Buckle in. Get ready for fun and learning. This is all. Uh-huh. Nevada. Then the state bordering state of California. Where Nevada is, let's look at two nicknames of the state of Nevada to learn even more about this state. Nevada has two main nicknames, the right. Silver State and the Sagebrush State. We're going to be looking at Those both, both of these trash. nicknames very closely to see what they teach us about Nevada. First, why is Nevada called the Silver State? That's a really good question. Why is Nevada called the Silver State? Well, in the middle of the 1800s, there was a huge silver rush in Nevada. Hmm. In fact, there was so much silver in Nevada that people were literally able to shovel the silver off the ground. That's dope. It didn't take long before most of that silver on the ground was all shoveled up, but there was still a lot of silver in Nevada, even after all of that surface silver had been shoveled. Today, Nevada is the second largest producer of silver in the United States, which is another huge reason why Nevada is called the Silver State. That's cool, but why is Nevada called the Sagebrush State? Why is Nevada called the Sagebrush State? Here is what a sagebrush plant looks like. All right. Sagebrushes are all over the state of Nevada. They are a very common plant there. In fact, they are also the state flower of Nevada. 
So, Nevada has two main nicknames. The Silver State because of the silver You said this already, bro. The way they repeat the themselves is breaking my spirit, bro. After, and you know, four and a half, five hours recorded this week of this kind so of content, bro, my head hurts from this guy's Nevada. repeating himself. I know he's doing it because these, these are videos for kids. I get it, wow, but like, bro. Doing an awesome job here in this Nevada mm. video. Talk about Vegas. Talk now about the desert. Talk about... look at the flag of the state of Nevada. This is a casino. With a bunch of dejected little silhouette Here people walking out of it with of no the money. Oh, wow. Weak flag. Blue flag Very weak flag, bro. In the top left hand corner of the flag. <sighs> That's a shit flag, dude. Nevada, you're failing, dude. You're in the literally middle failing. Of the state emblem is a silver star. This silver star is a silver star because Nevada is what? The silver state. The silver star is surrounded by sagebrush because Nevada is also, uh-huh, the sagebrush state. Yeah, both nicknames are on Bro, this flag. Me. Above the silver star is a scroll that's golden with the words battle born because Nevada became a state during the American Civil War. Mm hmm Probably don't want to expand Wonderful. on that at now all, right? We are going to locate two important places on the map of Nevada. The first place we're going to locate is Carson City. Carson City is the capital of Nevada. All right. That sounds like some cowboy town, right? Then way down in the southern part of Nevada is the city of Las Vegas. Las Vegas is the largest city in Nevada. That's where your mommy and daddy go to lose all their money. Of Las Vegas. Las Vegas is one of the most This is where your mommy and daddy go to lose your college fund. <laughs> About 40 million people visit Las Vegas each and every year. Wow, that is a lot of people. That's a lot of people. All right, we've come to our final question. What is the state bird of Nevada? What is the state bird of Let Nevada? Let me guess. It's probably going to be some sort of wren. I got, I got money on a wren. The state bird of Nevada is the mountain bluebird. What? The mountain bluebird. That's low-key kind of heat. All they have is a good bird, dude. Looks like. Mountain bluebirds Honestly. are medium-sized birds with a really cute call. Their call is chur, chur. Could you, could you give that a try? Can you... Could you be a mountain bluebird and say, chur, chur? It's like a thin little chur, 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 chur. That's what they say. They say. If you want to achieve better results, make a great impression, and save time at work, you should get Grammarly. Oh, wow. Buckle in. Get ready for fun and learn. Is New Mexico. Mexico is in a region of the United States. I'm going out of order here. the Southwest. But... Cool. Now we are going to look at the places that border New Mexico. Oh my god, these videos are breaking my heart. They're actually breaking my spirit, dude. First, Almost. border to the west is the state of Kona. Look at that. They're still, like, they're killing point. literal minutes of the video just the going, this South state's next west. to this state. They don't have anything to say. They don't actually want to say anything. Very cool. I should have picked a now different... Now we are going to look at two nicknames of the state of New Mexico to learn even more. The two nicknames of New Mexico are the Land of Enchantment That's and dope. the Cactus State. Boo, that second one's stupid. Names. First, what? New Mexico, the Land of Enchantment. Look at these captivating views. So much wonder. It's almost magical. The Land of Enchantment. I hope they remembered their cameras. So, New Mexico Did is you say called Camerons? the land of enchantment, but why is New Mexico called the Cactus State? Because there's lots of cactuses. Yeah, Have we get mouths, it, dude. Okay. We get it, bro. I'm skipping. The Honestly, I'm skipping. The more than one cactus plant. They are called cacti. Cacti. I'm skipping through it. They My ADD is bad today. I can't with this. Here it is. The flag of Weak the flag. Of Actually, I kind of like it. Mexico. It's the less. Is, is it's a got a less is more kind of a vibe a to it, so I'm not going to hate on it too hard. In the middle. But I don't know. I personally this like. This red like, symbol in the center of the flag is okay. the Zia sun symbol of the Zia people. That's cool, actually. I'm not going to hate on their flag. I want to, but first is the city of Santa Fe. 
Santa Fe is the capital of New Mexico. Then, a little further south and to the west is the city of Albuquerque. Albuquerque. That's where the is MMA the fighters are trained. In so New many champ champions have come from Albuquerque. All right, here is our final question. What is the state bird of New Mexico? I have no idea. The state bird of New Mexico Roadrunner? is the Greater Roadrunner. Oh. Uh-huh. The Greater Roadrunner. That's and sick. Curious, they got a, there they is got a pretty a cool flag. Roadrunner. It's but giving the all of its of meaning. Is the and a pretty dope runner. bird, dude, but I still don't like They New are Mexico. birds with long legs that go really fast. That's what they're known for. Oh, wow. Right. Well, buckle in. Get ready for fun and learning. This is a homeschool pop. Fucking, I forgot US to skip it. States video. Cool. Now we are going to look. Yeah, look at all these bullshit states that should just that get swallowed up. Like, what are we doing? We're basically stop going it with that state. Stop it with that state. Just be Massachusetts. Are. What are we doing? What's this stupid Ordering little state? New, New Jersey, Jersey just be part of Pennsylvania. A massive body of water called the Atlantic Ocean. Like, uh -huh. look at New Jersey. New Jersey that's a that's a crap state, dude. Like, look at that. It's like pretending to be a state. Like, just be part of this big pink thing. What is this, Pennsylvania? Just be part of Pennsylvania. What are we doing? Then there are only three states that border New Jersey. The first is the state of New York, which borders New Jersey to the north and also a little bit to the east. Then bordering New Jersey to the west is Pennsylvania. Yeah, just be part of Pennsylvania, dude. Like, what are we doing? And finally bordering New Jersey to the south and to the west is Delaware. Which is, like, again, pointless. What's Do the point you of you? Just be Maryland, Dar Jersey Delaware. Like, what's the point of you? Just of be Maryland. Uh-huh. Right up here. Yeah, New Jersey is right here in a region of the United States called the Mid-Atlantic. The Mid-Atlantic. Okay, now we are going to look at the main nickname of the state of New Jersey to learn even more. The main nickname of New Jersey is the Garden State. Uh-huh, the Garden State. That's pretty dope. I don't know Many why that's dope, but it's credit like, this guy, I... Abraham Browning, with coming up with this nickname for New Jersey. Okay. He used to be a delegate at the New Jersey Constitutional Convention in 1843, and he also served as Attorney General in New Jersey. Speaking of New Jersey, Abraham Browning was credited as saying, Our garden state is like a barrel open at both ends. At one end, he was speaking of Pennsylvania, and at the other end, he was speaking of New York. That Pennsylvania and New York... We're enjoying the produce and all of the incredible crops and goods that were coming out of the Garden State, New Jersey. Okay. Yeah, so why not just be part Other of... Other people believe uh. that the nickname had belonged to New Jersey long before Abraham Browning. In fact, some people believe even Benjamin Franklin called New Jersey the Garden State. You see, back then, New Jersey was covered with rich farms and orchards. In fact, two-thirds of New Jersey was covered in farms. But things have changed. Today, New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the United States. Is that right? Holy shit. Wait, more than, most even more than New York? Most of New Jersey is made up of residential areas instead of farms. That's crazy. So, is New Jersey still the garden state? Blueberries. Yes. New Jersey is still considered the garden state because New Jersey still has amazingly rich farms and orchards and in fact new jersey is the leading producer of blueberries in the united states that's interesting hmm. even though new jersey doesn't have as many farms as they used to new jersey is still very much the garden state all right cool now we are going to learn about the flag, weak flag. The that's a weak flag jersey i'm just going to be honest not a good state. color it's kind of ugly. Hard to see what's going on there. The flag of New Jersey is a yellowish tan flag with the state coat of arms in the middle. 
The state coat of arms features Pretty gross. That's an ant on my fucking One mic. What the hell? Liberty, the other what are you doing, woman Dickless? Prosperity. They're holding up a shield that has three plows on it, which represent New Jersey's agriculture. Because remember, New garden Jersey state. is yeah, we get the it. garden state. I mean, I get this repetitiveness is going to help horse, people like remember and stuff, but goddamn. And the state motto: Liberty and Prosperity. It's a bad flag, though. Now That's a D-minus flag, for sure. D-minus flag. In the state of New Jersey. The first is near the center of the state. It's the city of Trenton. Trenton is the capital of New Jersey. Then, further north, is the city of Newark. Newark is the largest city in New Jersey. All right, here's our final question. What is the state bird of New Jersey? Hmm. What is the state bird of New Jersey? I don't even, I don't even guess anymore. I used the to guess. The state bird of New Jersey is the American goldfinch. The American goldfinch. What? I feel like that we've had some goldfinches already. The American goldfinch is easy to spot because of its yellow coloring. Also, the American goldfinch loves to migrate and go to different areas during different times of the year. They love residential areas, which is why they love New Jersey. We already watched New Hampshire. Bro, look at that. The video's done. We've already done New Hampshire. Okay, New York. We're on to New York. Bro, I did it way out of order. <laughs> I did this way out of order, bro. For sure. Okay, this is going to be good. Give me a good New York one, though. I'm waiting for like a gem of information. Bro, I'm not catching any good info today, dude. Like, I'm 40 minutes in. I haven't caught any good info yet. Maybe it's because I'm skipping it. I don't know. But like, give me some like fucking gems, dude, that I can pass around like I'm a smart person, dude. Is the country of Canada. Oh, my God. This is going to take five minutes to fucking show all the states around it. Look at that. New York to the south are the states New Jersey. The state of New York is right here in a region of the United States called. It's like three of minutes New York in. Have any nicknames? The Big Apple. Actually, there is one main nickname that the state of New York has. The state of New York is called the Empire State. I knew that. Pretty cool nickname. That is the pretty cool. Empire that is pretty cool, state. dude. It's not as cool as the Last Frontier. That's that pretty nickname, dumb. The Empire State speaks to the wealth of the state of New York, not just wealth with money, but also with resources and with commodities. Mm. The state of New York has been called the Empire State since the 1800s. It's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Now, nickname. Here's the interesting thing. No one knows for sure exactly where this nickname came from. <laughs> New York has been called the Empire State since the 1800s, and there are different theories and ideas and even legends about who started this Empire State. See, this State is what I'm talking nickname. about. I want this kind of shit, the good shit. One of our favorite legends involves none other than our very first president, George Washington. I like it. What did he say? According to the legend, in 1785, George Washington, in a letter called the state of new york the seat of the empire dope that's cool at the end of the day no one is totally sure what the origin of this nickname is we just know new york is the empire state so if anyone ever says i'm going to the state of new york you say oh you're visiting the empire state that's pretty cool. That George Washington ah, bit's a nice piece of information. Now it's time to look at the flag. What do they got? What's New and York got for a flag? Here is the flag of the state of Oh, that's of sick. New I mean, I, I generally, I genuine, uh, generally like the, the blue flag flags. I think blue New flags are dope. But this one's pretty sick because it's like it's a got a big, background. you know. There are two ladies featured on the New York coat of Lady arms. Lady Liberty on the left, and Just the Lady Justice. The lady's name is Liberty, and she is stepping on a crown that represents the British monarchy because nice. New York was one of the original 13 nice. colonies. She's stomping on the British, bro. Let's go. New York's flag is sick. To the right is Lady Justice. Lady Justice, bro. she's wearing a blindfold. 
That's a symbol of being impartial, meaning yep. being fair, not looking at the outside of a person and judging, right. but judging based on the truth. Boy, we've gotten far away from that, haven't on we? On the bottom is the word excelsior, which means... Bro, their flag is sick. This, they might have the best flag so far. Higher. That's a sick that's flag. That's actually the state motto of the state of New York. All right, now we're going to look at some special places in the state of New York. They got a sick flag. I like their flag Here a lot. The Might be the best Albany. flag. I think Albany George Washington flag in Washington State is pretty state sick, but that's a pretty good flag, New too. York. Then further south is New York City, the most famous place in the state of New York. To the north and east of New York City is Long Island. The name fits because it's an island and it's long. So <laughs> that's a good name. It's a good name for it, Long Island. But as we said, the most famous place in the state of New York is New York City, one of the most famous cities in the entire world. Yeah. If you can make it there, you can make there it anywhere. There is a part of New York City <laughs> called Manhattan. Manhattan is particularly beautiful, especially as you're looking at it from across the harbor. And of course, city, the dude. Statue of Liberty is Old on Lady Liberty, Island, dude. which is in New York Harbor. I heard there's like bird poop all over the base of that. If thing. you are interested in learning more that's about the Statue of Liberty, we have a homeschool pop. I heard there's like bird poop all over, all over the Statue of Liberty. Like the birds are like, yeah, bitch. Like they love pooping on her. Monument. I heard, I heard she's a whole, she's a scat right, queen in that one. Final fact: What is the state bird? Of New pigeon. York. That's a wonderful question. It's 100% the pigeon. If it's not the pigeon, the they New need to change York it. The state bird is the eastern bluebird. Shut up. It's the pigeon, and you the know it. The eastern bluebird is a small bird. All right, after New York, what are we doing? Areas New York, like orchards, and then... Farmlands, woodlands. Oh, you don't Oregon. See what? We're doing Oregon. Let's go. New York City. But they are the state bird of the state of New York because there are so many eastern blue... I'm Dr. Jeff Vinegar, and today we're going to explore extreme weather solutions. Oh, wow. Buckle in. In the United States, in a region. In fact, Oregon is considered one of the... And to the east is the state of Idaho. Washington. Ooh, ooh, up above. Holla at your boy. That's where I'm and at, then dude. There are two states I'm right about Oregon here, dude. I'm right about here. That's about Nevada where I live. Right about the here. southeast. Right about in here somewhere. And directly below Oregon to the south, the state mm. of California. To review, Oregon is right here on the United States map in a region of the United States called the Pacific Northwest. All right. Now that we know where the state of Oregon is, we want to look at what the main nickname is of Oregon is because it's going to tell us some interesting things about the state. The main nickname of Oregon is the Beaver State. What? Beaver you guys state suck. You're the Beaver State. The state of Oregon <laughs> Super, you're the Beaver State, Wait, bro? Why is Oregon oh, no. called the Beaver State? Beavers are cool, but why would Oregon be called the Beaver State? The why Beaver, is the Beaver state, state, bro. Another name. Come for the on, state that's of weak. Oregon. They're basically well, calling you the Pussy are State, bro. Beavers that live in Oregon, especially near streams. Beavers love to work and live near streams. And hats made out of beaver fur became really popular in the 1800s. Bro, I still want a beaver. So there were uh, a beaver lot hat, of beavers living in Oregon. Wait, is that? And no, that's a raccoon. I want the raccoon really hat. Dude, popular. that's what I want. So there were a lot of those animals there, and it became big business in Oregon. Another reason why Oregon is the beaver state is because they love some of the qualities of beavers, like how intelligent they are, how hardworking they are, and how creative they are with finding solutions to different problems as they work in and around the stream. <laughs> beavers are also the state animal of Oregon, and they're also a reminder, as you can see in this picture, to always brush your teeth. Seriously. 
There are no <laughs> dentists, and it's important to brush your teeth and go to the dentist, okay? Yeah. Not me. I'm going to get false. Great. So Oregon's nickname is the Beaver State. They have tons of beavers in Oregon. Beaver hats were very popular in the 1800s. And beavers have some cool qualities. Like, they're really smart, really hardworking, and really creative. Cool. Now let's look at the flag of the state of Oregon. Kind of cool, I guess. Got the right it colors. It's a navy blue flag with the symbols and lettering in gold, which is the state color of Oregon. It almost looks like a yellowish gold, but it is gold. Hmm. It features part of the state seal, which includes a wagon from Western Expansion into Oregon, an eagle on top, and 33 gold stars representing Oregon's admission to the United States. They were 33rd? As the 33rd Jesus. state. Jesus. A little late in the game, huh? Oregon? Get together, man. Below that is the year 1859, the year Oregon became one of the United States. Now, are you ready for a surprise? The Oregon state flag is the only state flag that is double-sided with a different design Wait, on what? the back. What? What's on the back of the flag? The back of the Oregon flag features a beaver. Your flag was two-sided. Ooh, we got a fancy two-sided flag. That's cool. What's on the back? A beaver. Bro. Bro, super. You're getting... Dude, they're trashing you, bro. This is trash, bro. Okay, I mean, that's cool that you have a two-sided flag, but bro. Two key places in the state of Oregon. You're getting bodied right now, dog. The first place is a city called Salem. Salem is the capital of Oregon. These videos are bodying Portland or Oregon right now. Then Portland's the other city. Then further north is the city of Portland. Portland Which literally is literally is like two hours from me. I could drive to Portland in two hours. Oregon. We hope you're ready for our final question. What is the state bird of the Oregon? duck? It's the duck, what dude. Is the state Oregon bird ducks of Oregon. It's a mallard. The state bird of Oregon is the western meadowlark. Oh, look, another meadowlark. Meadow How many of those do we have? A bird that has a yellow belly. That's a little P, bit Pennsylvania. Chunky. Western meadowlarks love the beautiful, wide open spaces of Oregon and love feasting on insects. Enough of that, dude. Oregon was pretty good, though. They do have the coolest flag, I guess, because they have a two-sided flag. That's pretty unique. I'm, a, I'm not going to bullshit. That's pretty unique, dude. We haven't seen a two-sided flag. They're literally the only ones with a two-sided flag, which is oh, kind of wow. bragging rights, Buckle to be honest. In, get re- but. That's fascinating. Now we are going to locate Pennsylvania. Now we are going to look at then bordering Pennsylvania, Maryland, and the for the six states that Oh, I didn't do Ohio, did I? East. Who gives a yeah, shit? Pennsylvania is in the northeast. Main nickname of Pennsylvania is the Keystone State. That's dope. right. The Keystone State. First, why is Pennsylvania called the Keystone State? That's a great question. Why is Pennsylvania called the Keystone State? To figure that out, we have to find out what a keystone is. Look at this picture. Right here is the keystone of this arch. You Mm. see, the keystone is at the crown of an arch, and it's what locks the other pieces in place. The other stones depend on the keystone for support. Without that keystone, the arch would just fall apart. Here is a map of the original 13 colonies. The original 13 colonies are in this dark pink color. Now, Pennsylvania is right here. Do you see its central location? Pennsylvania was like the keystone of the original 13 colonies and of the early United States. Well, that makes sense. Pennsylvania was also the keystone politically in the early days of the United States, making sure that the United States held together strong. See, I like all that kind of information. Why don't they do that in these videos? A lot of these videos, they don't have any of that shit in them. That's interesting. Some more interesting facts about Pennsylvania. Like, let's look at what the flag of Pennsylvania looks like. Let's look at it, dude. 
Here is the flag of Ooh, Pennsylvania. That's pretty sick. The flag of Pennsylvania. It's a blue flag with the state coat of arms in the middle. That's pretty sick, dude. The I'm not gonna lie. The state coat of arms features a shield. That it's not as cool as bears, but it's got some dope horses on it, and that's pretty American sick. American bald eagle on the top. In the center of the shield are symbols that show the strength of Pennsylvania. A ship, a plow, and three sheaves of wheat. Okay. At the bottom of the seal is the state motto, Virtue, Liberty, and Independence. All right. Why do they got dope ass black horses on there, dude? Stallions. Why do they got stallions on there? Places on this map of Pennsylvania, starting with the city of Harrisburg. Harrisburg is the capital of Pennsylvania. Never heard of it, dude. Then further east and south is the city of Philadelphia. Heard of that? Philadelphia is the largest city in Pennsylvania. Wait, Pitts is bigger than Pittsburgh? Then to the west of Harrisburg and Philadelphia is the major city of Pittsburgh. Wait, so the Pittsburgh is the Pennsylvania has two football teams in Pennsylvania. They got the Eagles and the Steelers in the same state. Earlier, damn greedy motherfuckers. I mean, I know that like Texas has that, and you know California has that and stuff, but like, bro, city in America. In fact, it used to be the United States capital. Before Washington, D.C. became the capital of the United States. In this picture, you can see a building called the Liberty Bell Center. All right. I see it. What about it? Give me some info. The Liberty Bell is an important symbol of freedom and independence. It was the same bell that was rung when the Declaration of Independence was signed. Hmm. That's Back then, it was at Independence Hall, which is also in Philadelphia. All right, we have one more question about Pennsylvania. What is the state bird of Pennsylvania? The eagle, right? Philadelphia Eagles? The state bird of Pennsylvania is the ruffed grouse. The yeah, grouse? The ruffed what? grouse. That's weird. The ruffed grouse is a tough bird that doesn't mind the cold and the snow. They are right. also very Let's territorial, the stupidest state of all the so it's states. good to give them their space. In fact, one roughed grouse can defend as... Let's see what we're doing with the dumbest state of all states, dude. There's no point in this state. I maintain Rhode Island okay, shouldn't exist. There, I said it. It should be swallowed up by Delaware or Massachusetts or one of these other states. There's no reason it should be standing by itself. Unless this video can convince me otherwise, which I don't think it will be able to. Oh, well, but we're going to start off with this fact. Did you know Rhode Island has the longest official name of any of the United States? It's true. Mm -hmm. The what? official name of the state is the state of Rhode Island. And Providence Plantations. Wow, that's a long name. The state of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. So far, they're not making a very good case for, for keeping Rhode Island. For the rest of the video, we're just going to shorten this to the state of Rhode Island. But just know that the official name is a lot longer and includes Providence Plantations in it. Next, we are going to find out where Rhode Island is on the United States map. Do you know already? Yes. Where is the state of Rhode Island? It's right, it's right there, dude. It's that stupid little thing right there. This yeah. pointless little thing right Rhode there. Rhode Island is way up here in the northeastern corner of the United States. Rhode Island is in a region of the United States called New England. Cool. Now we're going to take a few moments to learn the different states that make up the region called... Ugh, why? Because there's nothing to say Vermont about New Rhode Island? Is that why? Those oh, good job. You killed three minutes, you dick. The two nicknames of Rhode Island are the Ocean State okay. and Little Rhodey. Little Rhodey. That's Ocean a sick nickname. State and Little Rhodey. <laughs> hey, Little Rhodey. That's pretty dope. I like their nickname. Little Rhodey is pretty sick. Why is Rhode Island called... God damn it. In Rhode okay. Island... Now, you might remember Rhode Island is also called Little Rhodey. That's because Rhode Island is the smallest of all 50 states in the United States. Rhode Island is the smallest state 
So it has the nickname Little Rody. Little Rody. It's a cute name. It's awesome. It's pretty awesome. dope. Little it's a pretty dope nickname. To I review, like it. Rhode Island is called the Ocean State Come and on, also bro. Little Rody. Having a great time so far? No, not really. Now Come on. Give me some good info. Learn about the flag of the state of Rhode Island. You better have a good flag. All right, here is the flag of the state I mean, of that's, Rhode Island. Come on. The flag of the state of Rhode Island is What's a the point white of you? flag that has a gold anchor in the middle. Rhode Island, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve to. The gold anchor represents hope, which I'm is sounding like Hitler right now. Rhode there. Island, you do not the deserve to exist. You just don't. What's the point of you? Stars, which represent the 13 original colors. There is no point. What's up, corrupt? Bro, Rhode Island, Usually what's the point? The flag, there's, there's no point to you, sir. Around the edges it's like three miles flag. long. It's like, what are we there? doing? And that is the flag of the state of Rhode Island. Their, their flag sucks. Their nickname's Little Roadie. It's like, cool. come on, bro. Now we are going to locate a very important city on the map of Rhode Island. In the you mean the only city in the, the whole little Rhode tiny Island stupid little is the city state? Of it's nonsense. Providence. Providence is the capital and largest city in Rhode Island. That's not really saying much, though. Rhode Island's the size of fucking Linwood, basically. Okay, here is our final question. What is the state bird of Rhode Island? Hmm. Has the bird ever actually what stopped on your stupid state little state? Of it's so Island. small. How would they ever find it? The state Let me bird guess. Of Rhode Cardinal? Island is the Rhode Island Wait, what? Red chicken? chicken? Uh -huh. The, the chicken Rhode is the Island oh my Red goodness! Chicken. What's up, corrupt? How you doing, buddy? Yo yo, yo, corrupt! I gotta grind park, bro. I'm gonna need Malaysia. your help, guy. I need to get to level 19 at the park, dude. I gotta play park like three days a week now. I'm realizing with red brown because I need to get to level 19. Eggs. There's a a plaque, a Detroit Pistons plaque. I want on, behind for, for my my players. You know what I mean? The state of Rhode Island, the Ocean State, little yeah, Rhodey. Little Rhodey, shut fact up. That you have learned about Rhode Island that we did state not of, What's the next state? Let your us know in the uh, comment section below. Are there any S states? And we hope to see you next video. Tennessee. Are there S states? You don't have to be done learning. Click one of these boxes to watch another state's video, or click the icon in the middle of the screen to subscribe to our channel. If you want to achieve better results, make a great impression, and save time at work, you should get. Are there S states? Leave. Oh well, buckle in, get ready for fun and learning. This is a homeschool. To the north is the state of Kentucky. Jesus, there's like 12 states around The state here. of Tennessee is right here. The names that the state of Tennessee goes by, like my buddy Chomsky, you know, he, he goes by the nickname Chestnut. You know, maybe maybe Tennessee has a nickname too, or maybe two nicknames, who knows? And don't ask about it's the a volunteer the state, right? Nickname Chestnut. Tennessee? You don't, wanna, you don't even want to know. Don't even put it in the comment section below. Don't even, don't even ask us, okay? Don't even ask. Well, in fact, Tennessee does have a nickname. Tennessee is commonly called the Volunteer State. Boom. I'm so smart, babe. Do you want to know why? Oh, this is a cool story. This is a cool story. They volunteered during the Civil War. To find out why Tennessee is the Volunteer State, we have to reach far back into time. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore the elephant. There's no reason for an elephant to be on the screen right yes, now. Yes, there is. There's an elephant in the room. It's called the systemic racism welcome. in our country that we all like to brush Listen, aside when we're talking race, to children. No reason for him to be on even though it's we're valuable to mention it because it shows the growth state, our country's made okay? since. But whatever. We're going yeah. back to the early 1800s, you see the War of 1812 was going on, and the state of Louisiana was under attack. The country of Great Britain was trying to take some of the land that Wait. the United States purchased in the early 1800s from France. In the Wait, it didn't have to do with slavery? I always, why do I always feel a like everything has to do with slavery? Andrew it doesn't, Jackson I guess. Jackson was leading the American forces. You might recognize his name because later on, he actually became president of the United States. With that hair? Really? Well... I guess Trump got in, so... The American forces needed help. They needed to make sure that they didn't lose any territory to Great Britain. Do you remember all eight states that Tennessee is bordered by? Well, none of them is the state of Louisiana. 
Louisiana is down here. And yet, something in the people of Tennessee stirred. And they said, we have to help. We have to help Louisiana. We have to help with this war, with this cause. We have to do what's right. I wasn't going to cry. The state of Tennessee, the people of the state of Tennessee volunteered. They said, we're going to help. To volunteer means to freely offer to do something. They said, we want to help. We want to help you win this war. We don't want Great Britain to take your land. And they were victorious. They won. They won. It was great. And Louisiana was like, oh, my goodness, Tennessee, you guys volunteered. You know, you volunteered. You helped us win. You've landed the volunteer plane. Come on. Move on. Come on. And that is why Tennessee is the volunteer state. To this day, Tennessee is known as the volunteer That's pretty cool. state. Ooh, that's awesome. Good job, Tennessee. Now let's look at the flag of the state of Tennessee. Here is the flag of the state of Tennessee. That's it's weird a flag. red flag that I don't has hate a it. thick I think it's blue cool stripe on the far right hand side of the flag, and that blue stripe is separated from the rest of the flag by a thin white line. Hmm. There is a blue emblem in the center of the flag with three white stars. These three stars represent the main three divisions of the state of Tennessee. East Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, and West Tennessee. Mm. Speaking of the different areas of the state of Tennessee. Cool shape. Tennessee's always kind of had a cool shape. It looks like a knife kind of. Like right a really poorly here constructed is the child city of sword, Nashville. You know? Nashville is the capital of Tennessee. That's where country music stars go to be famous. Then I'll tell you. In the far southwest corner of the state of Tennessee is the city of Memphis. Memphis is the largest city in Tennessee. Go Grizzlies! I'm glad to see John Morant didn't get injured the other Here's night. By the way, of the capital of Tennessee. Well, Nashville. that's cool looking. Nashville is nicknamed Music City because it's a huge center for music, country music, and all different types of music as well. Yeah, but mostly country music, right? I mean, let's not bullshit. All right, here's our final fact. What is the state bird of Tennessee? Um, the, the grouse. The state bird of Tennessee is the mockingbird. Damn it. As their name suggests, these cute little birds love to mock or mimic sounds. Texas. We're on to Texas. Even Let's do it, Texas. Up. Come on. Give me something real, Texas. Give me something real. This is going to be a good one, guaranteed. Oh, well, Buck oh, well, is in the well, south well, central water called the Gulf Saw. For the south and Spain. Well, Texas is called the Lone, the Lone Star, Star State. State. That's the main nickname of the state of Texas. If anyone Already says, I'm going to the Lone Star State, they're, they're going to go to Texas. They're going to go to Texas. Texas is Texas the has got Lone a dope shape, Star too. State. I will say that. It's got a pretty cool shape. The nickname is even reflected in the flag of the state of Texas, which has that one star, that lone star, that white star there in the it's blue. It's a cool flag. That's I'm not going to bullshit. The lone star, JP and wasn't wrong. The wasn't wrong. JP was like, our flag's sick. Flag you got a dope flag. Star, it's pretty cool flag. The lone star state, Super basic, the but lone cool. Star you know? Flag. That all has to do with Texas. Mm. All right, so why is Texas nicknamed the Lone Star State? Remember how we said earlier that Texas used to be a part of Mexico? Well, after 15 years of being a part of Mexico, Texas wanted to be their own individual republic. They wanted to be their own individual country. They began to fight for independence, and the flag of the state of Texas, the same flag they use today, was used in many hmm. of the battles while Texas fought to become their own individual country, their own republic. Pretty goddamn cool. 
The Lone Star was an important symbol to them, and even today it's an important symbol of how Texas wants to do things the way they want to do them, and they want to be free. They're their own individual state, and they haven't lost that sense of being the Lone Star State. By the way, Texas was its very own country for nine years before joining the United States. It was called the Republic of Texas. <laughs> Let's look again at the flag of the state of Texas, also known as the Lone Star Flag. Of course, the flag has that white star, which is the Lone Star. It bears so much significance and importance to the state of Texas. The color blue on the flag represents loyalty. The color white stands for purity, and the color red stands for bravery. All right. These are important values to the Lone Star State, which is why they are on the flag. Now we are going to look at some cool places in Texas. Right here near the middle of the state is the city of Austin. Austin is the capital of Texas. Oh, you mean uh, South, Cal South Cal California? Then to the yeah. east is the city of Houston. Houston is the largest city in Texas. H-Town? You talking about H-Town, dude? Then towards the west is the city of San Antonio. San Antonio is a city in the state of Texas that played a huge role in the history of this great state. In San Antonio is a place called the Alamo. Oh, the yeah. Alamo was where an important battle took They made place movies about that shit, dude. Texas was fighting for their independence from Mexico. I'd like to see that place. I honestly would. That's on my list. The battle Seeing the Alamo used, would be pretty dope. Remember the Alamo is still used today. People still reference it and still use it as an important reminder of the rich history of the state of Texas. You can still visit the Alamo today. It's a museum that teaches so much about the history of Texas. I would actually like to see the Alamo. That would be dope. I'd be into that, dude. All right, here is our final question. Okay. What is the state, state bird? bird of Texas? I'm going to say canary. Question, what is the state bird of Texas? Canary, I said. The state bird of Texas is the northern mockingbird. Another mockingbird? Really? Mockingbird. How many goddamn mockingbirds is that now? Is that as many as cardinals? The northern mockingbird likes to eat insects and fruits. Okay. And as its name suggests, the northern now what mockingbird what is the next state, bro? Q-R-S-T-U-V, Virginia? The mockingbird was in Texas so long, if the mockingbird would say, Remember the Alamo! <laughs> Though a northern mockingbird wouldn't sound like that, but, you know, close. You know, maybe close. All right, what are these... Virginia's got a cardinal. I just I'm saw it. Jeff That's a cardinal. Today, uh oh. For the science behind chemical versus physical changes. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Shut United up and fucking thing with the face. The United States of America. The Atlantic Ocean. I hate Ocean. when it takes them ten minutes to the do the goddamn. Look North at all the states Carolina that are around it. I don't care, places. bro. Seriously. Especially that second one. So long, the mother, the mother of presidents and the mother and the of states. Of Ooh, that's trash. But both of these nicknames speak to the rich history of Virginia. First, why is Virginia called Old Dominion? Virginia was the first dominion of England outside of Europe. This was way back in the early 1600s, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. In 1624, King James, the <laughs> King of England, that dude's wearing a made dress, Virginia bro. his royal <laughs> colony. That dude's wearing a dress. Virginia Screw that dude. The what, the guy in the dress? I'm not worried about what he's doing. It was an old dominion of the English crown. Now we are going to talk about this nickname, the Mother of Presidents and the Mother of Statesmen. What a long nickname for Virginia. What does it mean? What does it mean that Virginia is the Mother of Presidents and Actually, the Mother don't care. of Statesmen? Couldn't begin to give a shit. 
president of the United States, and he was born in Virginia. Thomas Jefferson was dope. born in Virginia. Wait, what? Damn, all these important people. President James Madison. That guy, not so much. Nice forehead there. President we go. James Monroe. Whoa. President William Harrison. Wow, this is a lot of presidents. A lot of presidents were born in Virginia. President John Tyler. That guy has serious ears. President Zachary Taylor. Respect. That's a military man there, you can and tell. And President Woodrow Wilson. Damn, who's this guy? That guy looks like he, you know. Virginia is the mother of statesmen <laughs> because it is home to many <laughs> other politicians as well. Statesmen are politicians in general. So Virginia is the mother of presidents and the mother of statesmen. All right. So Virginia has two main nicknames, Old Dominion yeah, we and the mother it. of presidents and the mother of statesmen. Mm, this is a really good sandwich. <laughs> a really good sandwich. Let's look at the flag of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Why is he eating his mic on this video? Here is the flag of the Commonwealth of Virginia. I don't hate it. It's what does it say about trannies at the bottom? It says the something about trannies seal down there. Of Virginia in the middle. In the middle, there is a woman Wait, does who that represents ha- does that girl have her Virginia. Out? Damn, and she's Virginia. standing Let's victorious go. over a man who represents Great Britain. You can see that with the crown. And Virginia is victorious. They won their freedom. They fought for their freedom from Great Britain. And that is the state Whoa. seal that's in the state flag. All right. Okay, now we're going to look at a couple of places in Virginia. The first place we're looking at is the city of Richmond. Richmond is the capital of Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. Why does that sound familiar? Then further south on the coast of Virginia is Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach is the largest city in Virginia. All right, here is our final question. What is the state bird of Virginia? The state bird of Virginia is cardinal, the cardinal. Of course. Cardinals are nicknamed red birds because of how their feathers have that bright. Stop it. All right. Now, this is the ugly cousin of Virginia, for West Virginia. Virginia. They're like, we won't do things different over here. Okay, West Virginia. Relax. Oh, well, buckle in. Get ready. East is Pennsylvania. Wait, West that's is a lady. Kentucky. And finally, there's a lady voice. West Virginia to the north and west is the state of Ohio. Wait, it's not In the all, dude. There are five states that border West Virginia. They fire the dude. He was kind of weird. Was a lot of fun. Now we are going to take some time to look at the main nickname of West Virginia, so we can learn even more about this awesome state. The main nickname of West Virginia is the Mountain State. I believe it. Yep, the Mountain State. I believe it. Not Why a good nickname, but I believe West it. West Virginia is called the Mountain State. <sighs> yeah, West Virginia is called the Mountain State because of all the mountains that are in this state. Mountains. There are multiple mountain ranges that are in the state of West Virginia. Because all of, all of them the are a part of a huge mountain range called the Appalachian Mountains. You might remember that West Virginia is in a region called the Appalachian region because the Appalachian Mountains run right through it. Some of the peaks are as high as 4,000 feet above sea level. That is really, really high, isn't it? There are six national parks in West Virginia, allowing people to enjoy the beautiful mountains and protect them from the incredible I can't wildlife get over the way she says mountains. In the mountains, people enjoy going hiking, fishing, rafting, and more. the mountains? So, West Virginia is the mountain state because mountain of all the mountains state. in the state. Simple enough. Now we are going to look at the flag of West Virginia Let's do it. to see what else we are going to discover about the mountain state. Ta-da! Here is the flag oh, that's of the cool. state of West it's Virginia. It's a white flag. I don't like a white flag generally, but I like that that has like a blue border on it. That's pretty sick. In the middle of the flag I like that it says West Virginia on it. That's always good. It shows two men, a miner and also a farmer. These two men represent two major industries in West Virginia. 
Coal mining is one of the biggest industries in the state, which is why the miner is on the coat of arms. A farmer is on the coat of arms because raising livestock is one of the biggest industries as well. In between the two men is a boulder with the date June 20th. Cardinal? Another cardinal. Right, God damn it. Cardinal. Cardinals are famous for their bright red colors, which makes them easy to spot. They are also easy to hear. They have a very loud call. It's a good thing they are loud. This can warn other cardinals that they are there. Cardinal. All right, let's get into it. This is my state. Let's go. Oh, math let's go, Barbie boys. Math solver. Our AI powered tool. This is where I live. Simple, this is where I be at, follow, dude. Step by Washington, bro. Oh, well, buckle in. Get ready for fun and learning. This is a homeschool pop U.S. States video. Washington, the state of Washington, was named after our very first Look president, George Washington. He's right Washington. there on the flag, homies. George Washington. Now, you might have noticed just below George Washington is the year 1889. Yep. 1889 was an important year. It was the year that Washington became a state of the video. United States. Washington hype. This flag is the only state flag that features a president on it. Exactly. It we're is also the only U.S. state flag that is mostly green. And we're going to talk about why it's mostly green in just a little bit. We're going to keep that a surprise for now. It's because of the trees, the evergreen state. Now, we are going to clear up something that can be a little bit confusing. What, the Washington State, you Washington, D.C. thing? there are thing? two major places in the United States that are named after George Washington. There is, of course, the state of Washington, Hell which yeah. this video is all about. It is in the furthest northwest corner of the continental United States. Yeah, not the furthest. Well, the continental, the yeah. The other place named after George Washington is Washington, D.C., the capital of the entire United yep. States. Yup. Yup. You can see that both We're Washingtons named after the capital, are dude. Different Come on. of the United States. The yep. state of Washington is on the West Coast. Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States, is on the East Coast. Both are commonly just called Washington. So if somebody says, I'm going to go to Washington, make sure you know whether it's the state of Washington or Washington, D.C. Washington is one of the Pacific states because it borders the Pacific Ocean. Sure does. We've got a nice ocean up here, bro. The state of Washington belongs to a region of the United States called Pacific the Pacific Northwest. Northwest. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? The state of Washington is in the northwest corner of the continental United States. We're locking down the north, bro. All right, now we're, we're holding down the north, question. guys. Don't worry does about Washington it. Does Washington have any nickname? Yes, it does. The Evergreen State. Come on. We know it's one of the Pacific states, and it's in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States, and it was named after George Washington. But does it have any other names that it goes by? Well, the state of Washington has one main nickname. Evergreen State. The Evergreen State. Come on. Yeah, a lot of people We're call forever green, dog, up the here. Evergreen Ooh, State. Holla at your boy. I'm so goddamn proud of Washington simple. State, bro. I love this place. There are so many evergreen forests. Yep. So many evergreen trees and forests. I got some at the end of my street, right down there. As the name implies, evergreen trees stay green all year long. Yep. And Washington is a perfect place for these trees because it rains. Oh, a come ton on. That's such a stereotype. It does, though. State, which it literally rains for like nine months out of the year. Great for plants. <laughs> great for plants. And this is the secret reason. Why the flag has so much green in it because Washington is the evergreen state. Tons of evergreen trees and it rains so much, which keeps the plants green and healthy and happy. I mean, not literally happy, they're plants, but you know what I mean. Plants can be happy. What is he talking because about? Because there are so many trees, lumber is one of the biggest yep. industries that the state of Washington has. 
Washington is also apples. the perfect place to produce apples. We have great apples. The Eastern state of Washington, Washington is just grows more apple apples orchard. than any other U.S. state. Right? We're about the apples, motherfucker. In fact, 64% of all apples produced in the United States yep. comes from Washington. Yup. Also, Microsoft, okay, Starbucks. Okay, so Washington you know. is called the Evergreen State. That's pretty cool. Now let's look at some neat places in Washington. See, yeah, well, first of all, you need to do Olympia. That's the all capital. All right, so here is the state of Washington again. We're going to look at some cool places. Seattle's important. Spokane's okay, important. So right here is the city of Olympia. It's a little Olympia bit down. Olympia is the capital of Washington. Yeah, it's down at Washington. the bottom of the Puget Sound. I've been there once on a field trip when I was in school. A little further north is the city of Seattle. Seattle I'm in is between the Seattle largest Olympia. city I'm like 40 in minutes from Washington. Seattle, probably an hour from Olympia. Then on the other end of the state Spokane. to the east is the city of Spokane. Yep, right in there. It's a good-ass state, bro. Interestingly enough, Spokane is the birthplace of Father's Day. The and the birthplace of fathers. John Stockton, the greatest point guard to ever play Spokane basketball. Holler at your boy. Come on. to tons of homeschool pop fans, and we know that because a lot of you share where you live, and there are so many homeschool pop fans Wait, these guys, these homeschool pop guys are Washington Spokane, guys? Let's go. That's Washington. sick. It's just like a haven of learning. Okay? Hell yeah, tons we're a haven of, of learning. from Spokane, so thank you to all our viewers from everywhere. But, wow, a lot of people in Spokane are learning with homeschool pop. But the city Washington is most well known for is the city Seattle. of Seattle. As that's we the said, Space Needle. It's been the there. largest city Dope. That's Key Arena. in Washington. That's where the Sonics played right there. You've got to check that's this out. That's the city out. center right the there, dude. This is called Space Needle. It's a massive observational tower. You could go up the tower. It's a restaurant with an elevator. Okay, buy this, elevator. It's go really up bad the food, but of way the too Space expensive. Needle. And this the is the symbol most people think of when they think of Seattle. Yep. And a lot of times when they think of Washington. <clears throat> it's a tourist trap. Don't go there. It's wildly right, expensive and the food's not that cool good. One more cool fact for you about Washington. What is the state bird of Washington? That's a wonderful question. The state bird of Washington is oh the God. American goldfinch. A goldfinch? Are you kidding me? Goldfinch. Everybody's got the goldfinch, bro. I'm sick of it. These cute, small little birds like to migrate, and they especially love to migrate to areas that are... All right, enough of that, dude. Enough of that, bro. Home. All right. Uh, we'll leave it there. I know there's other states, Vermont and shit, but I don't care about those states. I did all the states I needed to do. This uh, indulgence has gone on long enough. Guys, tomorrow we're playing park. Don't get it twisted. Tomorrow, we are playing park. I got to play so much more 2K, guys. I'm going to play a ton of 2K. Uh, I got to get to level 19 at the park for a Detroit Pistons background for my tile underneath my character. Yeah, so we're back on the grind. This is officially the last day of not playing video games on my stream, so don't worry. The two of you guys have showed up. I appreciate you, too. But the rest of you guys are like, I'm not fucking watching this nonsense. Don't worry. You won't have to. This was the last day of it. Uh, we're back to video games tomorrow, and tomorrow is what? Saturday? So we're playing park. Holler at your boy. 